My father is a hoarder. I think he started collecting right when he moved in. Going into my father's house, you have two bedrooms, a back room, and a bathroom that are just hoard, just piles and piles of stuff, and every pile has a family of roaches on it. It's not livable. It's completely unsanitary, unhealthy, disgusting. The bathroom's a little bit of a mess. Um, I just basically use it to wash up and to shower. Everything works in here, but if it didn't have the bugs, I'd be much more comfortable here. My kids have been trying to get me to take care of it for a couple of years. I always resisted. When they started to push, I just basically turned them off. But now with his health failing, Seymour can no longer drive and rarely leaves the house. And with the conditions so severe inside Seymour's home, friends and family are no longer willing to come visit him. I've become isolated. My daughter doesn't come over, and my son is in Arizona. I can't see the grandkids because of the roach infestation everybody's afraid of. Being on my own, it's sort of lonely. I miss contact with friends and uh, with the family. I kept on having to remind him, this is just stuff. You know, everything in this house is hurting your health. Um, it's hurting you mentally, it's hurting you physically, but it's actually standing in the way of you seeing your family, holding your granddaughter, which you've never done. It's his fault. I'm not gonna take ownership of it but he has yet to take ownership of why it got to where it did. But a recent letter from the city might be the one thing that forces Seymour to finally confront how dire his situation really is. 